going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. Um, wanted to come at you real quick about the uh, attack on the AT Trail, uh, which is only four hours away from here, from where I live. Um, matter of fact, this fall I was looking at maybe taking a trip up there and doing a little hiking myself. Um, anyway, I know there's a lot of people that watch this that live up in that near that area. Um, first off, I want to say my condolences to the family, to Mr. Sanchez's family that passed away from his wounds. Uh, hopefully the young lady that was with him, um, hopefully she is going to be okay and everything turns out okay for her. Um, as far as the guy that did this, I'm not going to mention his name. I'm not even going to give him any kind of, you know, publicity whatsoever outside of what I just said. Um, downside is, is they're looking at his mental state, which that means they're going after the, you know, Oh, he has mentally, mental problems, which is a big problem in this country. There is, a, you know, something we're still not addressing that we need to address. But what I also wanted to point out was situational awareness and that kind of stuff when hiking. Um, I was in a, conver well, I was watching a conversation on YouTube last night. And I'll link um, this up here top for you to go watch it. Inspired John was the host of it. Um, Yankees Outdoors, and there's a few others that were in there. Uh, very well worth conversation, and it's a conversation we need to continue to have, especially for solo hikers like myself and all you others that are out there that solo hike. Um, this is something else we, you know, we need to get together as a community, as a group, and talk about this. Um, you know, we think of it as our sanctuary when we go on these trails and go on these hikes uh, and don't expect stuff like this and it's you know it's bad that it happened but it it happened and we just have to be vigilant we have to be situational aware and has to be prepared to do what we have to do to defend ourselves even on the trail and it's kind of bad that we have to resort to that kind of things these this day and time but that's where we are in this day and time. And once again, this wasn't gun related situation. This guy used a machete. So it's unfortunate. It's sad. And like I said, my heart goes out to the family of Mr. Sanchez that passed away from his wounds. Um, but I think with a little situational awareness and take out the headphones. You know, I see people hiking with headphones on, and I'm sorry, even if it is a trail in what you would consider somewhat city park, you can be attacked by anything. Person, dog, you know, whatever. But if you've got these in your ears, you don't hear it coming. Uh, you get on the trail, let's listen to nature. Let's, you know, hear the sounds of nature and what's around you. All right, guys, that's it. I didn't want to take it, make it too long. It's long long enough um but uh, like i said my heart goes out to the sanchez family and to the lady that's recovering in the hospital right now hopefully we make a full recovery and um well with that be prepared